And we are finally back. Finally. Man, man. Life, life, and life. Mm -hmm. Life. Oh, man. Okay. So I will say this. I have been producing a lot of videos. Yes, you have. You've been going ham. So much Bro. I haven't even seen them all. Because Bro. When, when you put them out, it's either super early in the morning or I'm at work. Bro, I literally was up. I woke up at like one something. I made the mistake of having a milkshake last night. And I woke up this morning like. <laughs> yeah. I was like, when I got your text message, I'm like, uh, I looked at my phone. I said, oh, man, you woke. I was like, I'm going back to sleep. Duh. <laughs> this is too early. This is way too early. So, well, this is uh, episode 36 of the Ventures of the Black Nerds. Oh yeah, huh? I'm yeah. Baron J six seven. I didn't even introduce T Jones. Yeah, you, you're throwing us off, dog. You're throwing us My off. My bad. Welcome, <laughs> welcome back, folks. Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you guys oh, for tuning my. in. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, man, I, I do actually see you going ham with the content, and I think it's. I was just telling my, uh, I was just telling my wife how you're enjoying that that entertainment part of it because that is entertainment. You know, like even even some of your uh, with some of your reaction reaction videos are hilarious because and it's because I know you, so I kind of yeah. I know the tone. <laughs> so when you say <laughs> some shit, I'm I'm sitting here really laughing at it because I'm like, this fool's a, he's a fool, man. <laughs> but I do enjoy watching them, and I'm not just saying that. Hey, no, it's it's crazy. So I've gotten to a point where I'm trying to do different stuff, yeah. and I even cut I cut a I cut a different video. Um, I was watching other people's streams, and I was like, oh, you know what? I'll try that. Let me just see how it works for me. Mm -hmm. And I kind of did a market test, I guess, yeah. and was asking a few people questions. And they were like, well, it's cool, but the whole point of a trailer reaction is to see your reaction. Mm -hmm. So I had my camera all small, and then and they were like, eh, we could watch the trailer without it. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Yeah. So I just made myself back bigger, and I yeah. And then for the smaller videos that I think are not going to get any views, I usually act really stupid. Because mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you got to have fun, man. This stuff is hard. I thought it was going to be quick, right? Yeah. Even hey. though I've gotten, a, I, I, I've gotten a lot faster. Yeah. But so after the bloop bloop situation, mm -hmm. I couldn't go back to sleep because I was nervous <laughs> I was going to bloop bloop again. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Let me make all the New York Comic Con content that I wanted oh, yeah. to make. So a bunch of trailers came out. So I made six trailer reviews this morning. So I've been I was like <laughs> active for like four hours because I got up at. You said yeah. you got up at one. You text me at four, so you probably at four I finished recording and I was editing them down. <laughs> so that's when the text message came in when you were yeah. we done recording. Yeah, I forgot, yes. man, I figured you were up. I just say naturally you're always up early in the morning, and that's it's how I so used to be. Awkward. But it sucks. It sucks being so tired. I I love waking up in the morning. I love waking up in the morning, messing with my wife. You know, I love like messing with my daughter so they can wake up because they all like to sleep till like ten o'clock. Bro, I, I don't like doing that. So I don't like that sleeping in stuff. It don't go down over here. I'll be walking through the house doing cartwheels, <laughs> dancing, turning music on. Ask, my, my family probably hates me a listen, little bit. Ask, ask my wife. When we first got together, I used to get up 5 o'clock faithfully. And I'd be so bored. I don't know what to do. So what I used, so I used to just, you know, I used to walk in the bedroom and, <sighs> you know, hit a woman. <laughs> Hit, hit with the, one of those. Adjusting the pillows, yeah. moving the covers. <laughs> uh, I the, one time I hit it with the sheet, I was pulling the sheet, pulling the sheet, and you know, straightening up my side. She goes, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I'm, I'm making up my side of the bed." <laughs> You're stupid. He's all tucking it in. What'd she say? Something? Are you up now? <laughs> but. Bro. I can understand, man, with the whole getting up, man. That, that I used, I love doing that. I just I can't do it nowadays because I'd be so tired when I get home. Man, yeah, that the life, uh, the, the life. life, the life. <laughs> and I feel so bad because I like I kind of convinced a couple of people to pick up a certain video game mm -hmm. to to pick up Naruto Shinobi Striker, and I probably haven't played it in like two weeks. 
Uh, that and ain't they, they, new with you, dog. I know, and that's what I try to tell people: do not buy games to don't play with me. To me. Like, <laughs> don't listen to me. I it'll be a great game. It could be the best game on earth, and I love it and enjoy it. And I will walk away from it at the drop of a dime. Hey, I'm I'm seeing you walked away from less from more actually, bro. I just have no problem. Like, oh well, okay, okay. Well, I'll catch y'all later. All right, guys. Yeah, <laughs> gone. It's straight yeah, gone. <laughs> hey, hey, but on okay. So let's let's touch on some news, some big stuff that's been going down. Oh yeah, because since last time that we've talked, right. um, so things that have happened since our last episode, and I think uh, we talked about the crossplay between Fortnite, right? Yes. Are you gonna bring so, up the Sony Sony news? Uh, what does Sony do now? Sony, uh, well, it's it's. Allegedly, Sony is going to finally, after quadrillions of years, finally oh. uh, give us the option to change our names. Hey, but so has I it been confirmed? It's no, it has not been confirmed by Sony. It's just <laughs> been speculated. But it was speculated. K- Kotaku kind of don't really play around when they, nah, they uh, don't. When they They're drop actually news. really good. And, yeah. Um, I guess it was speculated because a couple people who ex- who who want to be remained anonymous one works for sony gave a screenshot of like a like a a edit that says edit username so that sent people in a frenzy now i'm not really i'm excited for that because finally i can get t jones instead of xt jones hopefully (laughs) that's the first thing i'm gonna try to do um and then i want to get my original gamer tag the way I wanted it originally to be. I was going to say, well, don't say it out loud. Oh, uh, hell know. no, no. Just the, just yeah. the T. Jones one, because obviously that's me now. Yeah. I'm cool with the X T. Jones, but I would prefer if you people call me T. Jones. Not X T. Jones. X I feel, placeholder. <laughs> I feel like such a noob not realizing and acknowledging the fact that it's a placeholder. Yeah. Um, but it just, it actually kind of flows, man. XT Jones don't it sound does, bad. But the only reason, the only reason why I will not take the X is because there's a dude in our clan. <clears throat> he's actually the leader of the clan, and my brother-in-law, and his name is X. His his original gamer tag was X Plus, and uh, damn, you just throwing out info. No, <laughs> he, he good. He he need the shout out. <laughs> he need the shout out. But uh. <laughs> Um, yeah, X plus was his name and he, uh, I call him X. So imagine if people started to short my name and say, X, what's up X? Like, no, but see, T. I Jones. don't think any, I don't think any, I think people will shorten your name to T Jones. I don't think they'll shorten it to X. But see, but see, or they'll X, call you extra. I, like, see, like, X, <laughs> it is, it X is a little, J. listen, man, the reason why is, and because X plus doesn't go by X X plus anymore. So he's not in the party with us under his original name. He's under gotcha. another name, which I won't say, but, um, throwing out governments, <laughs> and, and that, man. And see, this is why we pick gamer tags. I, I feel like, game, I listen, when I, I was telling, uh, I was t- actually telling him this, your gamer tag is like stuck with you for life yeah because yeah this one dude in our old clan his name was walmart i don't understand what the hell a walmart is i just put walmart and mitten together and was like oh he got walmart and then it was like whatever he changed his name to team killer and it didn't work i'm like i'm not calling that you just team sounds killer, cheesy though i'm, I'm calling that you sounds... i like hey, but that, <laughs> that sounds so cheesy oh you're a team killer like it, I know why he did it because back in the day on SOCOM, uh, well, we we all played SOCOM together, and uh, we can team kill. So that was one of the things we would do initiate to be initiated into the clan. We would start up a match, and, <laughs> <laughs> and we would go ham like whoever was, was the last man standing. Y'all one. was digitally jumping people into the clan. Oh, we was fucking people was up. This? And then when oh like, my god, so, he said Southside Navy Seals. <laughs> so remember, remember I told you about my my list, my list of people that. Uh, oh god yeah is that in real life i'm going like if i meet you in real life it's on and cracking like that, yeah that list well one of the dudes um he uh he jumped into the room because one of his boys was in our clan 
and and you know me so <laughs> so he had the code word and then back then socom was push to talk so <laughs> push to talk and a green light <laughs> Stupid. Green light. All I needed to hear was green light back and it's on. Everybody oh died. You dying, I'm dying. Oh my god. We used, to, we used to we used to drop grenades in people. We used to drop grenades right at their foot and blow them up. Because whenever you died, it showed the person that killed you, whether it was a teammate or whatever. So you can see you see your character just running over their body and teabagging them, doing all that shit. <laughs> hey, those was the days. But back to my main point. Um, yeah, I want name to get my, my original name. So if this is if this is true, if this is true, that's the first thing I'm doing. And I, I want to see if they're going to take the Xbox route where you have to like pay. Because now... Uh, you or you get it. one free. I thought you get... Um, if I'm not mistaken, you get like one. Is it one free change? You get one or free is that... change, and then you have to pay. Yeah. And I don't know what the price is, cause it, you know, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm cool with that, because I can understand people changing up their identity all the time. Even though if I block you, you should stay blocked, regardless of what it is, cause I whatever don't... your name is, yeah. yeah. But that'd be um, kind of stupid. If it was tied to your name and not the account, I would hope I would hope they would keep that separate. You know what I'm saying? Because then they, they would have to revamp that whole system. But the the reason why they said that it was so that they couldn't do it, and this was like six years ago, I had read that somebody had mentioned it to them, and they said that uh, they're working on it sometime in 2018 or whatever, or some shit like that. But it was about how uh, complicated it was for their system. To offer that service of changing your name, so this is why because I'm guessing everything's tied to your name. Exactly. So this is this is something. I mean, with the whole digital thing, I wonder if there if with this happening, let's say it does happen, mm -hmm. but you know, hopefully it does, because I know that's something a lot of people want. There's yeah. been a lot of campaigning for it lately. Um, but what if it messes with people's online accounts for a while? See, like, oh, all of a sudden my games are missing. See, like this, oh, I had this game. This this is the reason why I'm I'm I don't think so. I don't think that'll be a problem. Is because in with when you make a PSN account, obviously you know, uh, your email address yeah is the main thing. So when you log in any other place, whether it's on on the internet, on your desktop, I mean, or any other PlayStation. You have to log in with your email address, obviously, and your password. Thanks. So when you log in with that information, then it brings up your username. But this is why what threw me off was your username is separate. Like, it's a separate thing. So, so it's like, why, well, why should couldn't it, I yeah. have it? Like, yeah, that's com that's weird. If it's, if I, now, if it said, like, okay, to change your username, you got to change your email. Then you, you're going into territories, dark water territories. Because yeah. if I change my email... Now I got to, first of all, I got to make a new email. Second of all, I got to make a new email. That's, and that email is not tied to my digital collection, my digital library that I have. I'm shooting right now, mama. So, um, Hey, you know, you know what else? Um, I just blanked a little bit. Um, oh, well, this, you know, what's funny. This is the same company that makes you have an extra step to stream through OBS or to stream through a laptop. So uh, for the you know what I mean you they, know what that see and we had this conversation that it's not them it's Elgato so oh no 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 I take that back it it, it is them it, Sony has the the whole HDCP thing but that's because people that's because the gaming community is funny people were because obviously they gave you Netflix to download people record movies. Off their, off their what's the name? Off their capture cards. <laughs> <laughs> People recording movies, so they added the HDV, HDCP protection, whatever thing, to combat that. Not knowing that that would affect the Elgato and people using capture cards. To do stuff like that. So like it that. is easier to stream directly from the PlayStation than to try to run it into your computer. Exactly. So I mean you're gonna I had to like remap my whole setup it, just to keep Hey man. <laughs> Matter of fact, it's so bad. I don't even stream from my PlayStation. I stream off the um remote play. 
like oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you that's did, how you mad. It, yeah, that's mm-hmm. how mad it got. Um, uh, what was it? Oh, uh, what else happened? Uh, so we got the Fortnite crossplay. We got the PSN changes. Oh man, it's it's coming to a head, man. This year is really ramping up. So they just released a bunch of info for uh, Red Dead Redemption too. Yeah, um, and that's coming in what two three weeks. We're not. Yes. We're less than thirty Call days out. Is next week, dog. Oh crap! And Battlefield uh, too, right? <laughs> I don't Battlefield. Know. Uh, I want to say Battlefield soon I, too. I'll check oh, Battlefield. But Call of Duty All right. is next week. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie. I watched a couple of the gameplay for the, the blackout or whatever it's mm-hmm. called. Excuse me, I really have been up since like two this morning. Starting yeah. Here. Um, but October twelfth, Call of Duty comes out. Oh Jesus, that is like That's next week. Tomorrow. And then you next said uh, Battlefield. Yeah, I want to say Battlefield. What is that? The fifteenth? Is that Battlefield one? V five five. I said V. I sound so stupid. <laughs> Battlefield V. Battle is me. <laughs> uh, it says is upcoming first person shooter again. It's supposed to come out PlayStation and Xbox One on November twentieth. It got pushed back. Well, Whatever. Been. That's so, smart. November, stay but, far away from. Stay far away from. Uh, but <laughs> Fallout. Yeah. Yes. Oh Six my. Comes out God, in November bro. too. Ooh. Oh my god! And, and then the beta oh, no, starts. The in, okay, wait. Fallout seventy six. The initial release date is October twenty third. No, that's, that's the beta. Says. That has to be the beta. Comes out November. Oh, this. Where are you it. looking at your info, man? Google. Google man. don't lie. <laughs> Google lied to you. <laughs> Hold don't on. Don't lie, though. Google, Google lied to you. Let me Look, go to. Basically. I'm gonna go to their website and see what they say. Bruh. Fallout Bethesda.net. Bethesda. Whatever. Oh, Jesus. Bethany Seda. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know sh- I didn't know nothing about Bethesda until you told me about them. So Bro, that game changed my life. It's ruined me. <laughs> why they why they website takes for so long to load, Dang, bro? Bro, because they got too much going Dang, on, man. man. Nobody trying to see all of this. They got all the I don't want to see all man just Dang. Look, November fourteenth. So um, I knew yeah. it was in November, but yeah, that's, that's the that's the beta date. Um, I don't know. That's are you gonna weird. play Somebody... the beta? Well, see, this is the problem. So I got three days to enjoy the beta, but then after that, Red a uh, Red Dead Redemption two come out the twenty sixth. Yeah, and I got my cowboy hat. Uh, I'm Red Dead. Man. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna wear my boots while I play, but. I gotta let these fools know that it's no games. It's no games here. <laughs> we it's want not, all the smoke. <laughs> I want all the smoke. I'm Are we getting it here. digitally? Yeah, of course. Of yeah, course. I know we've been having problems. I don't understand why we gotta have problems with digital digitally sharing content. You you know what you know what our issue is, and um, I think it's the whole Game Pass thing. But actually, outside of our games, that's fine. Anything game wise that we bought, it's it's fine. Okay. But it's that whole um, it's that whole crap Ooh, that's causing hold on. problems. Laptop about to die. Hold on. Oh I Jesus! So folks, now I'm gonna go ahead and just plug in. It's, it's a it's a uh, it's a PSA. Um, everybody, that's make sure to go register to vote. <laughs> oh okay. I was okay. hey, I was doing a PSA, man. I was telling everybody to make sure to register to vote. Please. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's real out here. It's really these um, streets. <laughs> and look, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for, but one thing I will tell you is to vote for your own self-interest. Mm-hmm. So if you ain't no millionaire, don't vote for the person who's going to support the millionaires. <laughs> it's okay if you're not a millionaire. I'm not a millionaire. So I'm not voting for the person who's going to support only the millionaires. That was a conversation that's all me and my wife was having about. Was like, damn, would you want to be a millionaire? Like... If I if I came across millionaire money, I'm moving to Canada where like Wolverine live at in the sticks. Like, <laughs> oh, so no, I think I think what you're saying is fame. I well, think you even if that I, sounds, even if I didn't have the fame and I just had the money. I'm gonna be real with you. I could be really rich and still live where I live right Me now because I would do everything the same. Me too. Um, I just would take really long trips. 
That's the only thing. <laughs> and eat really expensive food. <laughs> yeah, like Uber these, Eats uh, got I lobster. Mean, gold tipped off. lobster. Yeah. <laughs> Gold dip lobster delivered to the house by Uber. Some guy oh, in, a, I in a Honda. A, I watched a friend of mine <laughs> on Instagram live try oysters, and she was oh. like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> "It was so funny." She said, oh. <laughs> like she, "I'm not big on shellfish. Oh, I'm not big on oysters. I right, yeah, I clams." Was, we were just talking about like like eating this shit like. With us, see, we don't eat a lot of stuff. Well, I don't eat a lot of stuff. I mostly eat mm. chicken and beef. And even beef, I try mm. to stay away from as much as I possibly can. But so it's like, oh, yeah, when you think about going on a diet, instantly I just be like, there's just no way I can do that. I can't eat chicken forever. <laughs> no, uh, I'm good. <laughs> hey, bro, see, that's that's funny. For me, I probably could if I really had to. Um. But eh, there's a million and a half ways to cook chicken, bro. Like I literally, I've had every million and a half. <laughs> I believe, yeah, to, I believe it to have it. But Man. It's, I wish, like, I still ate salmon because salmon was was good. I wish I still ate, like, I wish I ate other things like shrimp and things because then I had a multitude of things to cook. You know, I could you don't, bake. You don't eat shrimp? No, I don't. Hurts, I don't. I haven't eaten shrimp. I haven't eaten shrimp since I lived in L.A. Me and Stephanie stopped eating shrimp at the same time. And my mom said it was because we were Geminis. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And so she, from that day, she used to, when she used to make a, a seafood pasta, like with crab, yeah, yeah. lobster, and shrimp, she used to make us a chicken pasta. So we had our own, like our own pot of chicken pasta the same way she made that seafood pasta, but just with chicken. So we we were it was just us two only us only us we so you don't eating. eat sushi I don't eat sushi I don't eat no fish who hurt you I don't know I used to you what know, the ocean do to you what did Dory do to you man I ain't messing you with over here where, where show me where the flounder touch you they got Jesus they man got, uh, they got a uh, orcas hunting on land now I ain't uh, <laughs> uh, nah I'm good homie. <laughs> Hey, speaking on uh, orcas, and it's funny because this was not in the plan at all. Do you watch My Hero Academia? No. Okay, well, they got this dude uh, named, like, Killer Orca. Uh-huh. And it, it, uh, anytime a character pops up on this show, or even in the manga, it always shows their quirk or their ability. Mm-hmm. And he looks like a buffed-out, thugged-out orca. Mm-hmm. And they're like, he has the power of orcas. But... <laughs> What's, what the hell is that? <laughs> well, like sonar and oh, super okay. speed. Yeah. yeah. But it's just so funny. Like, they couldn't come up with nothing else. It was like, hey, not only does he look like an orca, you know what his power is? Orca. Boom. Orca. <laughs> <laughs> like, abilities of an orca. Hey, and it's some dude. Go ahead. I was about to say, um, a couple years ago, you know, this should be a segment where we just talk about, like, rabbit hole things that we just dove down to on mm. YouTube. And I went crazy on orcas. Like I really, this is the the same year that that lady passed. Um, that the the orca had um drowned her, killed her. A uh, tilica. Oh, you ain't know about that. You ever seen Blackfish? Oh no, you gotta go see Blackfish. I'm not watching that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go see Blackfish. No, I'm good, bro. Black, Blackfish. I'm not laughing. It, all it is. Nah, just keep. <laughs> listen. All it's about. It's about. Uh-huh. Um, the Ostracizing the blackfish. Why the black? <laughs> shut, shut up. The, shut up. Why the, bla- why the one blackfish out there got to be called a killer whale? Well, I mean, because it killed whales. <laughs> <laughs> it does kill other whales. Like, it eats them. Matter of fact, it kills whales and only eats their tongue. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's but anyway, way- anyway, blackfish is about. This it's about it's a documentary on orcas and then like I wonder captivity. what the crime rate is. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Would you stop it? <laughs> what about Chicago's lakes? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we got orcas here too. <laughs> All right, man. Listen, you turn. Listen, listen, listen. Stop it. Listen, okay. listen, listen. Okay, Linda, listen. So, I got you. So, I'm ready. Um, I'm here. it's about 
orcas in captivity. <laughs> oh my god, we're not gonna get through this. I'm not gonna be able to explain myself. Why is you hey, laughing? Hey, do you do you remember Free Willy? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prison break. Do you, remember, <laughs> do you remember the noise the orca would make? Man? <laughs> Shut up, man. Stop. Uh, how are we gonna turn? How are you just gonna start laughing at orcas? Because man, the I always laugh animal, at They're the bats. wolves of the oh, sea. They make it, they're they the make wolves it. of the sea. <laughs> and they don't go out. Woo, they go. <laughs> uh, actually, and actually, I learned something else. Different orcas in different parts of the world make different sounds. <laughs> they got different kids. <laughs> <laughs> and they eat different things. Oh uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we got vegan organs. <laughs> All right, man. Stop, oh, man. stop, man. I don't okay. think I'm gonna get through this because you're just gonna keep laughing. I'm tired of you laughing. <laughs> What's floating, Finn? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm tired of you laughing at my time. This is this is my rabbit hole topic. Like I went oh, about the rabbit serious. hole. Look, serious face. Look. You look at you, you. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing serious about you with the red eyes. You got this. You got the red eyes. So you I'm gonna change this, the subject. Okay, so nah, recently, blackfish. No fool. Just hey, but hey, but if, you know what the problem is with the title? It ain't even a fish, bro. I know. It, so it, go ahead. I, it, I think it, I think what they meant by it was how and how I took it was like you know um, <laughs> the ugly duckling. Like <laughs> the uh, all right, I quit. I quit. <laughs> I quit. There's just no way I'm gonna be able to get through it with you laughing like that. I'm not laughing, bro. <laughs> you are laughing. Hey, look, this is my serious face. This is no, it ain't. Look at you. I got allergies. It's the it's you, the fall allergies. You look a hot mess. Oh man, it's like somebody just broke your heart. Look how red your eyes uh, are, dog. Hey man. <laughs> All so right. the blackfish. No, and no, we you know why, and you know was floating. But the blackfish. Uh. But I recommend that movie to anybody. Go check out Blackfish. It's actually very informative, and you learn some. You'll learn some shit about orcas. All right. So my now my most recent trip down the rabbit hole on YouTube was security officer Darren Long. I'm not sure if you heard about him. Wait, is he the one that was throwing elbows? No, no. Oh. Th this is the dude that was tasing people in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he tased he, he tased this lady and when when she came to, she started crying. Was like, what did I do? Why? She was like this, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this dude, he was like the ultimate security officer. He he literally <laughs> they literally hired him as a security officer and he came out the property manager too. So he Oh god. He's in he's in downtown Atlanta at a at a like a swap meet type met and it's called the Metro Mall. And it's obviously they have regulars that come through there every day. And yeah. based off of his accounts, because I'm not, I ain't never been there. I'm just, just talking about what I seen on his video. He got a GoPro strapped to his chest. Oh Jesus! And he got a taser right here. He got a gun on his hip. He got pepper spray. He got a baton. This dude wear a bucket hat. <laughs> he got the glasses oh with the God. flashlight on it. So he um. <laughs> This dude is real, like, he's real heavy into recording everything because he was like, the footage won't lie. And and it makes sense. Most of the accounts and the situations that he goes to are warranted. You know, and whether it's somebody that he's banned from the mall and they keep coming back in and he's trying to get them out the mall, especially somebody that did security, I understand what he's doing. The only thing I did I disagree with, or I don't really disagree with this. I mean, California state law disagrees with is his actions, the way he does things. Because in California, all the shit he doing, you cannot do. Now Atlanta hey, sound like a whole different breed. Go. Hey, do he be fucking people up, man? Man, no, he just be and he pick and choose his battles based <laughs> off of his his camera. He pick and choose his battles. He know who he can do all that with and who he can't do it with. And he won't hesitate to call the police. 
So the dude, uh, I'm going to tell you about the two counts that he was, he tased somebody. First, he tased his lady. Now, what happened was, th this is the story. What happened was, he he's he's standing outside, he's talking to some guy, and it's a group of kids off to his left, right? And they with they, they family, and the kids are making noise, and they screaming. And he, instinct, I don't know if it was instinctively or what, he just said, hey, real loud. Now, the mamas went berserk. Don't yell at my kids. If my kids want to yell, what do they go crazy on them, right? So at this point, he's like, all right, we well, all get out the mall then. That's that's it. Just get out the mall. He didn't say nothing about the yelling thing because he did yell at the he did yell in the directions of the kids to like stop yelling pretty much. So they going crazy on him now. Now he's just making sure they don't come back in the mall, whatever. Long story short, one of the girls comes in the mall and he 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 tells her to get out, get out, get out. <laughs> then he like pushes her out. So she rushed him and she's tagging him. <laughs> she tagging him. That's a GoPro in the chest. So you can only see that she's up close to him. Out of nowhere, you see him give her a push. You see the you see the taser <laughs> ejected. And you see the, the prongs just fire right into him. Now when she falls, she gets zapped and she like stiffens up. He went into up. dead eye. <laughs> she stiffens up. And she leans on the door and she collapsed right on the floor. Now, the funny oh, thing about God. it, now there's nothing funny obviously about her getting tased. I'm I'm glad she's healthy and safe. Well, based on the videos, she was healthy and safe. He tased her. She woke up. At first she was gangster. She was gangster. <laughs> she was gangster before she got tased. She woke up and was like, What happened? <laughs> she Bruh. was crying. Now, Bruh. I just dove down the rabbit hole of his his content and all the videos he posted and uh, just learned the story of him because he was like a hard nosed security guard. He was kind of a perv. One guy on one guy on one of his videos called him a pervert. And he was, but he some of his videos is like him talking to girls or him following girls that he. Oh, was Jesus. Yeah, this dude was I'm like, I can't believe he boasted these. <laughs> And that was that, but yeah, that was my rabbit hole content that I ran down for the, I, I, I stopped now, but for the past two weeks, I've been watching all his videos. Um, you know what? When it comes to YouTube diving, I've been caught up on all, like, I normally don't do this cause I don't want to ruin anything for myself, mm -hmm. but I've been hooked on Red Dead Redemption content oh, and man. Fallout 76 content. And I think the reason I've been hooked on the Red Dead stuff is because the game is so in depth mm -hmm. that I feel like it's gonna be almost impossible for somebody to tell us everything. Outside of I'm talking about you can tell me major story, yeah, but as in every little moment, the way the game is set up, they're saying that this has pushed that boundary upon single player open world games. The same way Grand Theft Auto Five did. That was going to be uh, my next question. You think it now, would be the true successor of a Rockstar game to Grand Theft Auto Five? Because everybody yes. that played Grand Theft Auto Five, I expect to play Red Dead Redemption. But let me tell you, the big reason why a lot of people are not—it's not going to go that way—is, and they—they're they're even saying it themselves. It's a slower-paced game. You don't have cars. Okay. You don't have you don't have helicopters. You're on a horse, or you're on a um. You're you don't you're not a walking arsenal. But I assume if you wanna in, in the first Red Dead they had like a fast travel system. Yeah, but that's different than when you compare to Grand Theft Auto zooming down, uh, and, and, Los Santos and, and a and a Lamborghini. But this is also on the online content because in the online content i don't think they had like fast travel and stuff like that mm -hmm. but in the regular story getting through the story because obviously mm -hmm. you can you, you're gonna be able to continue after you beat the story yes in Grand Theft Auto, or in red dead redemption too so yes <clears throat> um fast traveling to get the story done because that's what everybody's agenda is gonna be is to clear the story as fast as possible because online comes out in two weeks or whenever it comes out yeah so you know every other thing outside of that is after the story i know that's how i'm gonna treat it at least because I'm yeah gonna, see i want to go ahead the story no that's all i want to say 
yeah, for me, man, when it comes to how I'm gonna play Red Dead Redemption, I'm not gonna rush it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna take my sweet time. Yeah. Um, I what else? I and then the thing is, I'm hoping that I can dive into it in a way to where I don't have an itch to buy all the other games that are coming. Cause dude, Anthem. But I know I'm not buying Anthem. Look, I'm I'm not buying Anthem. I'm oh, not buying yeah. Anthem because it's 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 probably going to be a bad game. I don't know that. I'm not buying Anthem because I got too much shit sitting on this desk that I ain't touched yet. Bro, bro. I'm not diving I, into a new franchise. Bro, I got many figures I still ain't built. They, I've been, these figures have been here mm-hmm. since, I forgot what conference I went to. Yeah. Um, I'm supposed to put them together. I was like, oh, I'm going to put them together on stream. I'm going to chill, listen to music, and put them together. They are within arm's reach, people. <laughs> people. They, still they the are box. within, they still in the box. Mm-hmm. And I'm just sitting here. I Actually, I do got a couple of video game reviews to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do those, man. That's yeah. something, like, I want to, I want to create my own, not my, I want to find my rhythm when it comes to reviews. And I want to have my scale, like, and I want it to be pretty consistent in terms of how I rate and why I rate what I rate. Yeah. And I already know very few of my games are going to be due to completion. Like, that's when I, the review is going to happen because that means I got to sit down yeah. and grind through the game. That's not how I get down. Of course. So I think I'm going to call them like half ass reviews or something like that. Something like that. Um, yeah. Think- some. And I'm gonna keep it lighthearted because I, if you're I don't, gonna do I, that, you're gonna have it's gonna have to be like it's gonna have to be funny. Yeah, it's it has have to, be. to because yeah, that's the one thing when I hear professional reviews. This is why I don't take Angry Joe serious. Uh, when I hear professional reviews on things and you haven't completed like in-game content and shit like that, that pisses me off. Because like, how, yeah, because it's not a full experience. exactly. So, yeah, uh, if you're. I, I can't wait to see that from your or from your perspective because I already know like how funny you can get. So imagine doing a half ass review on a game that you barely played and and you and then you let the viewer know that. That's just Yeah. Like, like I Oh, that's how I open it up. Say. Yeah. Like one of my um the one review I did do, I had a early beta or early code for a game. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I did that before. I had an early release, had to do the whole Wait until the, the uh, embargo. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. But it was for a, like a flight simulator-esque game. Uh-huh. I don't play those. Of course. So I made, I made that clear as day. I was like, hey, y'all, like, I was struggling <laughs> through this game. And then I don't have a setup. My mouse and keyboard is not top tier. Yeah. Um, Actually, I did a review on that. It's still $30. It still works. It's still been a going thing. for about a year yeah. now. Yeah, this was the best $30 I'd have never spent. The um, legal life. Man, I lives it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm about that, but um, but no, you know, I try to be honest. I let people know, yeah. like, oh, even if I do a trailer review that I've already seen, but I know it was good enough to where I wanted to record it. Like, um, that's actually one of my most popular videos. Uh, oh, really? I reviewed the the Queen the Queen trailer, the original. Oh, um, man. I was planning on doing it, and then I went to the, and that trailer came on during the movie. And I was like, I'm not gonna walk out the theater. Like, I'm just gonna sit here and watch it. And I just came home and I let people know. I was like, look, I already seen it, but it was that dope to where. And I kind of narrated how I felt throughout the trailer. It probably was more better. It yeah. was probably. Good. You haven't seen Venom yet, huh? No. I haven't seen it yet. I'm thinking of going. Uh, I'm trying to avoid reviews. Really? Yeah. Full on movie reviews. I mean, shit, you. Might yeah. Be- why not? I mean, I no, feel- I don't. Not that I'm gonna do it. No, I'm saying I'm trying to avoid, oh, avoid like, people, people, ratings okay, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've learned, I've come to find out, especially since I don't have cable anymore, mm-hmm. folks. You don't need cable. I've oh, gone man. about five years without cable. You too. Um, yeah, man. You too. Um, but right, and then news is already on your phone with mm-hmm. your internet. But the point I'm trying to make is, I don't have that urge to go to the movies like I used to. Yeah. Um, cause it's not constantly being thrown at me with ads. So, well, excuse me. Um, so with Venom, I want to see it, but I have to avoid all the critics because now since it's already not a top priority for me to go to the movies, 
it's if I hear something bad, it's like, do I want to go drop thirty dollars to go see it? Yeah, to go see it, and all I heard is bad about it. Mm-hmm. Like that's I I do my best to avoid all that. Yeah, and I get that, <clears throat> but at, but at the same time, like regardless, a movie like that, like a Marvel movie, mm-hmm. you're gonna go see it, like. Whether yeah, and, and, but there's it's only it's funny it's only specific movies that was like ah just wait till they come out on DVD in Mar- mm. in Marvel like actually I know there was one that I did but I just can't think of like I haven't seen Ant Man Ant Man and the Wasp I haven't seen that. ooh me neither I haven't seen it but you know and what I, I was had the su- urge to be like oh yeah I want to go watch it but you know I was super late on the la- on the first one the first Ant Man movie see okay. I was so, but in it, it honestly ended up being one of the better ones, and I, I like really that, enjoyed it. I, and but I seen it Ant-Man just took me theaters. so long to watch it. Yeah, because there's no, there's no urgency. Like with Infinity War, there was urgency. Mm. In with I, I, Iron Man three and four, there was urgency. With Thor Ragnarok, that was urgency only because of mm. Thor. I'm, I mean, only because of the Hulk. Hey, but that movie was dope. That, it was. It was almost too funny, though. It was it, I almost it too it funny. Because I really didn't care for Thor movies like that up until mm. that. Because Thor movies wasn't really... Like, the second one was dope. I liked the second one. But yeah. even that, I could have waited for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got you. But uh, once... When they when the trailer for Ragnarok came out, I was like, "Oh, this actually looked dope! Like this look." The music looked like, was really good. Yeah, it looked like something I could go watch, and I went and watched it, and I enjoyed every bit of it. Okay, so now I gotta ask: best non collab Marvel movie in the last ten years? So no Avengers, because those are okay. just yeah, just to make life simple. Ah, well, it. And we're talking I, MCU. We're not talking cartoons. We're talking okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. movie. But yeah. Does Civil War? Do you consider that a collab? I would say yes. I would it's say a combo yes movie because I was about to say yeah. Civil War was a that was a Captain America movie, and that movie was dope as fuck. So, in the last ten years, I would have to say uh, I would have to say Iron Man. I think three. Mm. Is that the one where he mm. had the multiple suits where he was going crazy? I think it was three. Oh yeah, with yeah. the post traumatic stress. I would have to hey, say that. And that was because go ahead. Robert Downey Jr. He, I don't know what I didn't really know too much about Robert Downey Jr. until Iron Man the first one, but he's creeping up to be like one of my favorite actors now because he's so dope. I remember uh, watching the the the. Like I had, I forced myself to go watch the movie he did outside of MCU, the movie gotcha. where he was the lawyer and he was, or yeah, he was the, the 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 lawyer and he had to like his dad had accidentally killed somebody or whatever. Uh, I had to, and that was a great movie. He that was a good acting. movie. I yeah. forgot the name Me of it, too. but that it was, was a good, so wild. Yeah. It was such. It was that was years ago that I seen that, but I would have to say Iron Man three because Robert Downey Jr. is so dope, and then that movie played out. By itself, it played out dope as heck because it was just him. It was him, him uh, fighting, taking on the world pretty much, and that was that. So yeah, I'd have, I'd have to give it to Iron Man. What about you? What you give? Who you give it to? Um, outside of that one, just for the sake of conversation, um, man, um, uh, because that was that was my whole point, and then the, them showing how he was dealing. With falling from the sky, mm-hmm. uh, with falling from the black hole or whatever. Um, what would be my next one? Uh, Winter Soldier was dope. Winter Soldier was dope. Winter Soldier was dope. Um, At, yeah, that, that was. Yeah, that was dope. It Winter was Soldier because was dope. you know what it showed. It, it showed like what happens when you like because he was kind of by himself. You know, mm-hmm. he, didn't have, he had to like basically get back into the good graces, and it showed like Bucky, it showed the Winter Soldier, it showed you know how they came to how they came to be. So oh yeah, I like yeah. That oh oh yeah, and then you know a close second would be Black Panther. Um, yeah, but 
Um, Black Panther is up there for me. Uh, of course, I love it. You know, Wakanda forever. But <laughs> I really, I, I really enjoyed Winter Soldier more because I, I felt like a small part of uh, of uh, what's his name, Michael B. Jordan. Uh-huh. I felt like he kind of overacted when he didn't need to. I told you, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I actually ruin it now. I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna ruin it for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. He, I ruined for all my coworkers. I ruined Michael B. Jordan. I was like, he does this thing when he talks, and I don't like, know what it is, man. But he, oh, you noticed it too? Yes, I, like, I remember. I remember us having the discussion. Yeah, and I said Michael B. Jordan. It's just sometimes his character. It's he, just, you know, I don't know you, what you know it what, is. You know what I don't want to use. The, I want to use the same words I used the exact same time. So I'm gonna go back and watch that episode we did. And I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I think it is. I think he is one of those people that plays himself. Ah, yeah. His his uh his his range. I haven't really seen it change. Mm-hmm. And he's been in some of my favorite movies. Like there was one with the three friends. Um, uh, not what about last night, uh, where they were all going through like dating and marriage problems. Mm. It was like a romantic comedy that was dope, but he still felt like it's like, okay, Robert Downey Jr. is the same way. He's Robert Downey Jr. Like he, you don't see the up and down of him. Samuel Jackson, very similar too. Mm -hmm. He's always kind of the same person. They just put him in perfect roles. I'm going to take that work for him. It's not. And I want to use the same exact words I used the last time. With Michael B. Jordan, like you said, his character, his character, it, Killmonger was dope, right? Yes. Michael B. Jordan playing Killmonger, I think was dope. It fit the character. It fit the narrative, how he spoke, how he went about everything. Yeah. But it's the same thing. You go look at Creed. He looks like the copy and paste same, verbatim thing. movement over, at, yeah, yeah, and over and over, yeah, and over again. Go look at, but I'm gonna tell, hey, but I'm gonna tell you what. See, I never watched Fruitvale Station because I don't like. I don't want to get mad. I'm tired of getting mad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick of getting angry. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's certain movies I don't even watch. Yeah, like I, I, I remember, that. they had to convince me to go see. Uh, uh, what was it? Twenty years of slave or whatever. They had to twelve years, whatever. Yeah. They had to coax me into that, and I was hot. I was like, I'm, I'm tired of wanting to punch people in the throat. Yeah. Well, the reason why <laughs> the reason why I watch Fruitville Station is because I never paid attention to that outside of the movie. So uh, when we went when I went and seen it. It was a movie to me. So I went and seen it. Michael B. Jordan's the same character, just a different different. Uh, he sound like he from up north instead of, you know, wherever he's from. Was so, it different? Was it weird here? Like, did he? Was it? No, nah, it, it it was like the same. Come on, what's up, bro? Like all of that, you know. Hey, like but that. You, but you know what's so dope though? One thing I will say about Michael B. Jordan, regardless of um of the roles being not necessarily tailor made for him, but him just kind of falling into place, he he's one of the few actors I think that has like um over ninety percent in all of his Rotten Tomato movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause his the move. Listen, don't get me wrong. These yeah, yeah, movies yeah. that he's in are dope movies. Yeah, and I'm oh, not yeah. saying he's a bad actor. Actor, I just no, like, it's just something. It's just something. Yeah, it, I don't know what it is. Maybe he, I don't know what it is. And even I, you can't even say him doing a dramatic role because looking the dramatic parts in some of these movies that he's been in, where he hey, had nope. to get like the crying and the spit and you know all of this. I can't some wait till these, Creed too. Me neither. And I'm saying all, and people think I'm talking shit on Michael Crap, B. Jordan, yeah, but people, it's not. No, it's like, dude, he's in some of my best, my favorite movies. I just Black Panther, Creed, Creed Two. I already like it, and only seen the damn trailer. Exactly. Like I'm you. If he, dies, it could be, he a, dies. be about. If he does, he does. Hey, I, hey, we gonna talk, boy. Next episode, we gonna talk about. We gonna talk about that kind of book. Oh boy. Oh, bro. <laughs> Hey, did you see? Did you see the video somebody put up and they added Minecraft I, noise? No, they put the so this dude was beating up his phone. 
So all you see is him punching his camera. Yeah. So it just looks like the POV just in his face getting beat up. And they was like, that was Conor McGregor. And he was like, uh, you gonna die today. <laughs> like, <you're> just... <laughs> we... But yeah, we got we got to save that. Did you see the uh, fight? No, but you I did? saw the aftermath. Okay. Um, I'm once again, I'm over McGregor. Um, you know what bothers me about him, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna end it on this because I really do gotta cut. It. I gotta get going. Yeah. Um, even with him getting beat up as bad as he did, the fight that happened afterwards is gonna overshadow how bad he got his ass whooped. Of course. And he's still gonna be able to talk crap the way he wants. And of course. Gonna... Of course. And and I'm nobody's saying... gonna say anything, and they're gonna love him for. It. They they love him now. He he came out the good guy, and I'm a that I'm a Conor, me. I'm a Conor McGregor fan. Don't get me wrong, because technically this dude is a true fighter. It ah. not few can stand toe to toe with him and survive. But I say this time and time after time and time after again. Conor McGregor has not proven to go the distance. Khabib has proven to take people to the distance. Like, purposely take you to the distance because I want to see what you can do. And Khabib, listen, all I'm going to say is this. Uh, Habib. Habib literally didn't take Wrestling a break. Bear. He didn't take a break. No, not even that. He didn't take a break. You know when they had to go sit in their corners after the rounds was up? He stood up and was talking to his trainer. Who does that? <laughs> I've never seen that. This is how you knew he was overprepared. That man was hey, overprepared for God. Hey, but, but let me but let me tell did, did you see how mad he was he after was, he tapped him out? He was, he was he was still in his ear. Was, I was like, oh my God, he wanted to kill him. And, and we'll, he was we'll, hoping he didn't tap. We're gonna shoot we're gonna shoot another one and we're gonna discuss that because I, I'm trying to explain to people in America that that shit don't fly in other countries. No, you don't You're just run You're talking about like a that. dude's religion, and he ain't yeah. from America. He ain't playing the same. Jo- and I, I was saying, yeah, Conor McGregor may be Irish, but he's Americanized. So he's going to do it the American way. Oh, yeah, this is the fight game. Sell the fight, whatever, whatever. K- no, old boy was trying to kill him. Khabib is not trying to sell no fight. He's trying to get you in the ring and destroy you, and that's exactly hey, what he proved. But hey, yeah, we can cut right there if you want. All right. Hey, and on that note, folks, I am Baron J67. And please, before, check out Spreaker. Tone Deaf Radio. Tone Deaf Network. Oh, 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 you know what? I did catch that this morning. Tone Deaf Network. Tone Deaf Network. Spreaker.com forward slash Tone. Is it, is it still the same? It's still, I think it's Tone Deaf Radio. Tone Deaf Radio to get to Tone Deaf Network. And you can catch us on everywhere. We're we're Spotify. Spotify. Who else were we on? Um, we on uh, iTunes, uh, wherever you listen to your podcast. Honestly, check us out. We're there, man. We part of the network. Mm-hmm. Tone deaf. Shout yeah. out to you, and also uh, shout out to uh, AJG. I'm I'm real late on your album. That album is fire. Yes, uh, Black Kennedy. Um, yeah, t- his. I was I was amazed at that project of work. Shout out to Bro, Pro. Yeah. Shout out to uh Walker 16. Shout out to everybody over there. Bro, uh, I that's was, I was like I, I can't wait for them dudes to blow up. Can't, I, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna stop on this one. I can't wait for them to blow up because I keep telling them I'm gonna go on tour and act a fool. Oh, yeah. And I already got my wife to sign off, I already told my job. <laughs> I'm ready. They just need to do it. That's all that's all. I'm already. I will take six months out of my life. I'll take a leave, bro. Yeah. I already told everybody it's on point and it's happening. All so right. on that note, peace. peace.